Hi guys, this is Marco Schwartz for Open Automation and lately I've been asked a lot about creating more tutorials around the Raspberry Pi and also people have been asking me how can they access their projects from anywhere in the world so not only from a local network but from outside of your home and this is exactly what I will show you in this video I will show you how to use the Raspberry Pi to command uh, a simple relay, so remotely, of course. And I will also show you how to do this from anywhere in the world, so how to access your Raspberry Pi from outside of your home. Let's dive into it. As usual, the first step is really to turn out the hardware. You just start with a breadboard. Don't worry, we'll put the Raspberry Pi later and put the connector from the cobbler kit into the breadboard. And the next step is to connect the power lines coming from the Raspberry Pi connector into the power lines of the breadboard. So just use the 5 volt and the ground. Then simply put the relay into the breadboard. Then you can plug the NPN transistor into the breadboard. And this transistor will be used to operate the relay which needs 5 volts from the Raspberry Pi which has only 3.3 volt output. Now connect a resistor of 1 kilo ohm to the base of the transistor and, and then just connect a cable going from this resistor to the pin number 4 of the Raspberry Pi. Finally for the relay connect the other pin to the positive power supply so 5 volts and connect the last pin of the transistor to the ground. To finish with the low power part of the relay we need a diode to ensure that the relay and the Raspberry Pi will be protected when the relay is switched. To actually see when the relay switches, I just added a simple LED circuit on the other part of the relay. So just a resistor connected to the power supply and then simply connect the diode with the anode connected to the relay and the cathode connected to the ground. And as usual, you can find all the detailed schematics on the Open Home Automation website. And to finish with the hardware part of this project, simply connect the breadboard that you prepared to your Raspberry Pi and make sure that your Raspberry Pi is powered and that it is connected to the network and possibly to the internet. Okay, let's now have a look at the code of this project. So basically there are three parts. There is this PHP file which contains the first part which is in HTML form. You have a PHP code and I will show you later you have also a JavaScript uh, file. But first the HTML part. So this part here is simply an HTML form with two buttons, one off and one on. I, I will show you this uh, form later. And you have this hidden field which is just there to pass um, the value uh, of the relay that's on, on or off which you want to pass to your uh, Raspberry Pi. So this is just there uh, to pass the right value to the JavaScript. Then you can see here that you have an include for the script.js file and I will go to this file now. So this is a file and you can see you have three functions. So the first one which is called when the window is, is opened just linked the buttons that we define in the HTML part to a given function. And you can see there is this relay on and relay off. And they are basically the same functions. So you just put the hidden value to on or, or off. And then you submit the, the form, um, which is called remote relay.php. You submit the form so the PHP code uh, gets executed. And finally, the last part is this PHP code. And this is where you will do the right commands to uh, change the state of the relay. So first, we always define this pin number 4 to be an output. Then we get this variable from um, the JavaScript um, part, which will tell you the state of the relay. And if the state is on, then 
we write a run. If the state is off, then we just write a zero using, using this GPIO um, library. So now that you have the code, you have to actually put it on the Raspberry Pi and be sure that it's on the right location and also that the web server is running. So I will log in to my Raspberry Pi via SSH. This is the um, local IP address of my Raspberry Pi. I'm just connected via the Ethernet table uh, of my computer. Okay, now I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi. And the first thing I will do is check that my Apache server is running. So for this, I will just do sudo service apache2 restart. And it will complain a bit, but this means that my server is running. And then the last thing you have to do is check that your files, so the PHP and the JavaScript file, are in the right folder. So for this, the right folder, by default it's var www, and this contains all the files um, that will be accessible via the web server. And you can see that in my case, I have the right files remote relay and script.js. So everything is fine. And the next part, I will sh show you how you can access this uh, page remote relay from your local network, but also from anywhere in the world. Everything is in place and you can really test what you just done in this tutorial. And now there are really two cases. The first one is if you just want to access a USB Pi and uh, the server running on USB Pi from anywhere in your home. So for example, the Pi is connected uh, to your router via uh, Wi-Fi or just via the internet uh, table. So this is quite simple. Uh, you can just get the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and then you can just type in the IP into the browser and you will be connected to the web server you just defined. The second case is if you want to access your Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world, so anywhere outside your home. And this is a bit more complicated. So I cannot really help you step by step for this because it really depends on your router. So basically what you need to do is to say to your router that every time there is some incoming connection on your router from the exterior, so from the, from the web, that want to access the specific port of the server on your Raspberry Pi, so by default it's 80, it needs to re redirect the traffic to your Raspberry Pi. And on the, the, on the web page, on the article corresponding to this video on my website, I speak a bit more in detail about that. So this is the, the, the second case, this is what I will show you now. And I will just copy and paste the IP of my router so the internet IP of my router, that this is how my router is seen from the outside world. And I will access directly the page remote relay. And this is what you should see. So of course I zoomed in a lot, so you can see these two buttons on and off. And I will now show you how you can use this to actually command the relay. Now, what I did is actually put a recording of the breadboard on the lower right corner. And I will just try out these buttons and I will also stop speaking so you can hear the relay switching. So this is already the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't hesitate to comment or to ask any questions about this project. And also go on the corresponding page on my website openomeautomation.net. You will find everything, schematics, the code and much more details. And I will see you in the next video.
拜拜。